In this video, we're going to take a look at the 3D environment in AutoCAD and how to navigate it efficiently. The first thing I want to do is change my workspace. I'm currently in the 2D drafting and annotation, and I instead want to switch to a 3D workspace. So I'll use my workspace tool. And AutoCAD comes with a couple of different ones. They come with the 3D basics. If you're brand new to 3D in AutoCAD, you might like this. It's a very simplified version with some of the most commonly used tools. Personally, I like to use the full 3D modeling workspace because it gives me all the tools that I need. You will notice some things have shifted around. The layers have moved over to the right. You still have all the same draw tools and modify tools. They just might not be exactly where you were expecting to see them. We also get some new tabs such as solid and surface, mesh, visualize, etc. Next, we'll take a look at how to move around in the 3D environment. I actually already have a solid here on screen. and In the upper right corner, I have my view cube. The view cube has the home button. Selecting the home button will switch the view to an isometric view. I will also point out if I right click on the home, you can also switch it to perspective. So if you are getting the perspective mode and you're not wanting it, you would rather have the isometric, then that's where you'll just right click and choose parallel instead of perspective. To move around, you can click and drag on the view cube to orbit around. You can also click on any face to look directly at that surface, or you can click on the corners of the box to get an isometric view. You can also change the way the part itself looks in the upper left corner of the viewport. I can see that this is currently in wireframe and I have several different choices here, such as hidden, in which case it does not show any hidden lines. And I can do shaded with edges. And again, several more different types in there that you can play around with as per your interest. Another way that you can orbit around is by holding the shift key at your keyboard and then pressing the mouse wheel down. What is normally a pan in AutoCAD turns into the orbit by holding the shift key. So pressing just the mouse wheel down pans your screen, but holding the shift key while doing it will orbit your screen. Personally, I find that a little easier than using the view cube to orbit around. I like the view cube a lot for being able to look directly at a surface or choosing one of the isometric views. In addition to being able to change the visual style here in the viewport, you can also do it on the home tab. By going up to the home tab and the view panel, you can see the drop down here for the different styles. And you can even see a preview of what it means. So there I can see what sketchy looks like, for example. So again, several different styles that you can look at when dealing with the 3D parts. It's also important to note in the 3D environment where the UCS icon is, the user coordinate system. By default, you are always drawing on the XY plane. I'm going to draw a line off to the side here a little bit and it appears to go up and to the right. Without having used any other tools, I'm only drawing on the XY plane. So when I orbit my screen, you can actually see that that was indeed drawn on the same flat plane as the bottom of this box. With that in mind, we have another viewing tool we can use up here on the home tab in the view panel. This one works similar to the view cube where we can change the view, but not only does it change the view, it also changes the UCS. So this is an important distinction. So if you watch as I click the front of the box, my view changes to the front, but notice how the XY is still on the bottom. So if I try to draw anything, I'm locked onto drawing horizontally. So I'll switch back to an isometric and this time I'll choose the drop down here to the front. Now this changes not only the view, but also the UCS. You can see the XY has changed. Now, if I wanted to draw something, I'm drawing on this vertical plane. Now granted it's a plane out in space and it might not be exactly what I was wanting, but nonetheless, you can see the big difference between using the view cube and the tools up top here. The ones up top actually change the UCS, whereas the view cube really just changes the view itself. I can return the UCS to its original location by selecting the world coordinate system button here. And now you can see the XYZ goes back to normal. That concludes this look at some basic viewing tools and navigation techniques in the AutoCAD 3D environment. 